So let's see, Vince, um, to everybody, I just signed up. I have my old VP of sales agreed to be my closer and a title person of four counties, giving me foreclosure list. How do I jumpstart on getting going and have my closer trained? Blair, you want to take yeah, that man. one? Yeah, yeah. So Vince, first of all, welcome to the program. You know, I'd love to get you on uh, chatting if you want. Um, I'll, Ashley, can you unmute Vince? Yep, I'm unmuted now. Hey, Vince, there you are. How's it going, man? Going good. How are you? Good. Now, where are you based? So I'm originally from San Francisco Bay Area, but I moved to uh, Ann Arbor four years ago, which is right outside of Detroit. Okay, excellent. Yeah, Jeff knows a bit about the Detroit market, I think. I do. And yeah. He's up that way as well. Yep. Um, but let's see. I, I think your your real question is, how can I uh, get going ASAP? Is that the real question here? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I run a referral networking group here. And so one of the guys on my team is, uh, uh, he's a district manager of First American Title. And so he gives me the foreclosure list in four counties, including Wayne County uh, uh, with uh, Detroit and Ann Arbor, which is a prestigious area. I don't even know what to do with this because I just signed up. Now my old VP of sales and banking, I quit that job to strike it out on my own. I have multi-units. He agreed to be my closer. But once again, I don't know what to do with this. Yeah. So the whole name of the game is having as many meaningful conversations with sellers as possible. Uh, and if you can have those conversations with the right sellers, it goes even faster. If you can get that foreclosure list, your next step is probably to skip trace it. They have batch skip tracing companies so that you can get phone numbers for those lists. And then you're just going to put somebody on the phones and call them. That could be a VA or it could be your VP friend. Uh, mm -hmm. and calling them and just using the cold calling script, the opening call script, and just working them. Well, he has a full-time job still. He's okay. interested in once we have an appointment set, he'll go in and close. Because with all of us salespeople, um, he was a fantastic closer. Once yeah. we did all the work, he would go in and he would just close it. Yeah. And he's really good at that. So I, I'm suspecting I, I'm probably going to need to hire some kind of uh, company to make the calls. Yeah, you need a setter if he's your closer. So in our world, we call that a virtual assistant and an acquisitionist. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So you can do it that way. The alternative, and, and you know, there's kind of two ways I look at the whole marketing aspect. There's the outbound marketing where we're doing cold outreach to these people, mm -hmm. or inbound marketing where we just let the world know what we do. We buy houses and we let them come to us. Uh, I prefer it when they come to us, but, uh, you know, that does take some spend in terms of advertising dollars and that sort of thing. Right. Uh, and here I have a list, you know, I right. have something to go off of. If you've got a list, then now we're talking about going outbound. And I mean, the easiest and best way, especially, do you know how big your list is, by the way, right now? Um, no, I'd have to pull it up on my computer. So, I mean, unless it's like 100,000 people. No, not that much. Right. So if it's maybe a few thousand people, I bet, it's best to just get on the horn and call them. And like I said, that could be a VA or you or whoever, uh, but somebody's got to do it. Uh, alternatively, you know, there's other ways you can get them to respond. You can send them a postcard or whatever, uh, ringless voicemail, text message, but that gets a little dicey in terms of legalities and, and compliance and that sort of thing. So the best thing, <clears throat> you know, you, you're trying to get them all on the phone anyway. So just pick up the phone and call them or have the VA do it. That's what I would say. Okay. Now I'm, I'm super busy. I mean like super, super busy. Um, uh, in terms of hiring a VA, uh, what does that look like? Where do I go? Yeah. So in module one, I'll show you how to post your job post for the VA. And if you're in a hurry, I would go to onlinejobs.ph instead of Upwork. There's a small fee involved, but it's a bit faster to find somebody. Uh, once you find that right VA, you're just going to send them the VA training set. It's a folder in the Google Drive uh, mm -hmm. that's included with the program. And it'll show them what to do and how to operate inside of Mojo and that sort of thing. Okay, uh, fantastic. Yeah. Um, now, I haven't, because I just signed up, I haven't gone through everything. Um, does that include getting my closer trained? Yeah, there's another. So there's a training folder for the VA, and then there's also one for the acquisitionists. Okay. Yep. All right. Yeah, man. Time to get cracking. <laughs>
All right. Well, thanks. Thanks again, Vince. We'll get you muted back there, Ashley, if you don't mind. And anybody else has anything, any leads or deals or questions, go ahead and click the raise hand button on your end or type in the chat. Uh, looks like Manny was typing there, uh, get some HELOC and or doing cash out refi on free and clear properties to have some cash available. And Manny was saying, hey, Vince, he's in Midland area, two hours north of Detroit. So I guess a little bit close to you there. Uh, Jeff, you still on? Oh, yep. yeah, Sorry, man. I lost you in the list there. Yep. All right. Well, let's wait and see if anybody else's hand comes up. So in, in, uh, in an effort to stay home, well, I don't know if you guys know this. I go to Starbucks every single morning. And I drink iced coffee by the bucket. <laughs> so, but now I went and bought an iced coffee maker at home. So now I'm like drinking too much iced coffee. It's too available for me. <laughs> so that's what I did. I got the, the cold brew pot. So yeah, you just right. stick the coffee in it and it brews overnight in your fridge. And then you end up drinking three of these a day. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Thank <laughs> you.